WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the uh, Thursday, uh, August the 31st, last day of the month trading session. And we're at 11 o'clock, Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's up 90 at 34,980. You've got a couple of stocks really helping it. Not that many, but a couple. The daily is in leg A. The weekly is really holding strong. <clears throat> we're looking at the S&P, pretty much the same thing. This is in leg B, holding well at 30, up 13 to 45.27. Nicely off the low in the 4340s. Um, is that the low or a low? We'll talk about that. I'm going to be doing the next session. That'll be Steve Rhodes' hour, and uh, he's away, but I'll be able to do this hour, and we'll have a lot of stocks to look at. Questions have come in already. So we're looking at the QQQ, one, two, three. There we go. Up uh, strongly, up 2.13, 378, almost 379. Good action in the daily, good action in the weekly. Looking at the IWM, not so much the case. Nice action in the daily, up one. At 190, but that weekly chart needs a lot to, do, to be desired, although the 9 is still over the 14. Look at the dollar. The dollar is holding quite nicely here, <laughs> up 47 ticks at 103.64. As that 9 period moving average shows you this internal strength, and yet gold isn't plunging or anything like that. In fact, just down three points at 1970. Look at the TLT. This is a bond. Uh, bonds are up 65 cents. The yields are coming down a little bit. This is a quick leg A to B and then leg C coming up right here. Um, this is nice action, but not great, but nice action. And looking at crude oil, crude oil is, whoops, I wrote it in the wrong place. Before we go to the break, let me just see if the music comes on. There we go. Uh, crude oil is up sharply, up 135 at 80, 80, let's call it 83. Trying to get close to the continuous contract high a couple of weeks ago. And that was at 84.40. And, uh, yeah, this is acting well. And the weekly chart suggests that it wants to go to a leg D. So all in all, um, we're looking at this as kind of a consolidation uh, phase in the whole monthly chart. And uh, I'll see YouTube. Yeah. So in the meantime, back at the ranch, what we're looking at is how the markets close today it gives you the end of August candles. And we look at some of those when we return. As I say, I'll be sitting in for the next hour, Steve Rhodes' show. And uh, wait, is the music coming on? Am I not hearing it? There it is. Whew. Music's on. I'll be back in a moment. And uh, stay tuned. And give me your questions at basilchapman at tfnn.com. Send me your questions. I'll be checking my email.